Hello, my name is Orin from CompuMatter. Today I'm going to show you how to unplug a USB stick from your computer safely, whether it be Windows, Linux, Mac, um, and currently this screen is going to be Windows 10, but this will also work on Windows 11. First of all, on the screen here, I'm going to plug this in so you can hear the little noise that confirms. All right, so a USB has been plugged in. And I can verify this by going down to the file explorer here and then navigating to this PC on the left. But I also see that it says USB stick right here, which is the name of my drive. So if I click into here, this is where you can store all of your files. Now, if you want to eject this safely, you need to make sure that you're not currently transferring anything to it. And you especially don't want to pull out the USB stick while it's mid transferring files. So once you're done with that, Go ahead and close it down. All right, so the process of ejecting it would be to go down here to the bottom right of your screen where you see this little arrow. If you hover over it, it says show hidden icons. Now you probably won't have as many icons as I have here, but you're looking for this little one right here that if you hover over it, it says safely remove hardware and eject media. So for ease of access, since I use USB sticks all the time, I personally click on it with left click and drag it down to here. On Windows 11, you'll have to drag it down to this arrow in order to do this. And this just makes it easier to access. So that's just left click on both, click and drag. So I'm going to click on this. And the options we get here are to open devices and printers, which is not gonna be used here, as well as eject mass storage. This is what I'm going to use to safely get this turned off, basically, so that you can pull it out of the machine without having any potential corruption. So I'll click on that, and then it's safe to remove. Another way you can tell and make sure that you have ejected it properly is if you no longer see that little USB stick symbol in here. That means it properly came out. You'll also sometimes get a notification that tells you straight away that the USB device can safely be removed. So when you unplug it, you will hear a little noise if you have your speakers turned on. Next, we'll go to Mac. Okay, so we're here on a Mac machine currently on Monterey, but this should work on any of the ones that you're working with. So when you plug in a USB stick, it should pop up here on your desktop. This makes it easy to access if you go over and click on it. The folder comes up and you can drag and drop any files you want in here. For an example, I'm just going to make a test folder just to have some data in this USB stick. So next, the first method I'm going to show you on how to eject this safely without it corrupting any data is to grab it and drag it to the trash can, which will turn into a little eject symbol right there. Once you do this, when you see the USB stick disappear and you don't get any error pop-ups, you're good to remove the USB stick. The second method you can do is when you're clicking into this and utilizing everything, when you're done transferring it, there's also a little eject button right here that you can click you'll see that that also disappeared. On Linux, this is a distribution that may look a little bit different than what you're used to, but the fundamentals are the same. When I plug in a USB stick here, I can click on the top and open it up that way. So I can see that my test file over there is still here and the USB stick down here also has a little eject button. I can press that to safely unplug the device. If you plug in a USB stick and you don't see the pop-up on the top, like you did right there, you can also access it by the Files button, which looks like a little folder. And from there, you can eject it the same way you would otherwise. And that was how you safely eject a USB drive or a thumb drive from Windows, Linux, and Mac. If you have any other questions about this topic or anything else, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.